A new push tonight for a crackdown on Zin nicotine pouches. So it's like chewing tobacco. The pouches are filled with flavored nicotine, and some are saying that it's being marketed to teens. Fox News' Richard Giacovis has more on what you need to know. At local smoke shops in New Rochelle, you can't miss the brightly colored packages on the wall. Each pouch boasting an enticing flavor, wintergreen, citrus, cinnamon. But there is one top lawmaker calling for federal action on the tobacco and electronic cigarette alternative called Zin. It's a pouch packed with problems. Over the weekend, Senator Chuck Schumer urging the FDA to investigate Zin over its marketing and health effects, citing high levels of nicotine marketed to teens and sometimes those even younger. I'm delivering a warning to parents because these nicotine pouches seem to lock their sights on young kids, teenagers, and even lower, and then use the social media to hook them. The outcry from Senator Schumer sent the social media world buzzing with some Republicans rallying behind the nicotine pouch, claiming Schumer was inciting a, quote, zinsurrection, a term coined by Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene. Then Congressman Richard Hudson posted this picture holding a pack of zin, claiming Schumer is against an alternative that has helped many people quit. But doctors say this product is dangerous when purchased by a teenager because of the concerns over nicotine. It can potentiate other types of addiction, uh, not to mention it has long-term impacts on cognition and anxiety. Psychologist and addiction specialist Dr. Alexandra Straitner warns this can be harmful to a child's brain when used long-term. When they see things that catch their eye, we're setting them up to be curious and use those things. And we're setting them up for what could become a lifelong problem that can adversely affect their health. In a statement, Philip Morris International says it's setting a benchmark for the industry when it comes to not marketing Zin towards those who are underage. The company cites CDC data from last year that shows the use of oral nicotine pouches by those under the legal age is exceptionally low. In New Rochelle, Richard Chiacovas, Fox 5 News.